Hi there, this is Chris Callett with MuseGrid.com. We're going to take a look at the updates we've made to the iframe widget so that we now have uh, full capabilities within Muse 8. And we've added some buttons as well that allow you to target those iframes. So let's take a look at the um, new widgets and see how they work. So first off, let's take a look at what they actually do. So here we have the sample page and we can see that this has loaded up some iframe content, although it doesn't look like that could necessarily be, that could just be content on the page, but we can see here that the the uh, content scales with the page. So these are some new target buttons that we've included in the widget pack, and you can change the um, settings of them, which we'll take a look at in the next bit of the video. But if you notice now, if we click on MuseGrid for instance, it will load up uh, the website into the page here, click on Apple, load up the Apple page, and then we can reset it back to the original iframe content. So this is, um, these are came out um, a couple of months ago with uh, an updated version of the iframe widget. So what we've added this time round is um, this new R8 iframe widget as well. So there's an R7 and an R8 and these buttons because um, the new version of uh, Muse handles um, iframes slightly differently. So let's jump over to Muse and take a look at how we can implement these. So here we are in Muse R8 and we've just loaded up a blank site here so everything's blank and we'll open up our library panel here and we've installed the MuseLib file. We can see that we have the V7, the V8 and the universal iframe target button here. So we're going to use the V8 version. We're just going to drag that onto the page here going to set it up at the top, you could set it any way you like, we're just going to set it at the top for the time being. Drag that out and then if we go to our transform tool, let's close this, go to our transform tool and just hit the new 100% width button and then that sets it 100% width. So let's add a button to this as well or a couple of buttons. So again I'm going to open up my library panel, I'm going to grab my universal button widget here, place that on the page and we'll We've got that set to MuseGrid. Now you can see the um, the hyperlink styles here are coming in from the hyperlink style settings. So we could change those to, let's change that to, let's say white. And we'll set that to white as well. And then we'll switch off the underline. And then we'll change this to, we'll change some text in here to MuseGrid. And we can also change the, the colors of the button here. So I'm going to change this to just a black. There we go. And then if we hit preview, we can see we get 100% width. And then when we hit the button, it targets the iframe. Now the way it does that is if we take a look at the iframe settings themselves, let's pull this over a bit so we can see the Options panel. I'm just going to drag this down a bit so we can see the options panel here. We can see that we have an iframe ID of my iframe, and in our button here, if we take a look at the options there, we have a target of my iframe. So, whatever your iframe ID is, that's how you target it with the button, and you can put as many buttons as you like on the page and with different content so you could have different pages loading up from Muse with different content and so on and so forth. So it's very straightforward in R8 to use these widgets. So uh, that's how you use them and thanks for watching.